Let's go to the epicentre, if you like, of the controversy that has swirled around this project. Nick Weavers is from the Broom Community No Gas campaign. She's been part of this campaign over the past four years or so to oppose the LNG project. She joins us now by webcam. Nick Weavers, thanks very much for your time this morning. Your reaction to this? Oh, good morning, Scott, and thank you for your time. Uh, yes, we're cautiously uh, optimistic about this statement that Woodside has uh, made. Uh, we're still, we still have some concerns that one of their alternatives is still a small onshore uh, facility, and of course the uh, port will still uh, go ahead. There are other uses for that port that the state government are keen to uh, see it established for. So, therefore, you consider your campaign not over? Where do you go from here? Oh, absolutely. It's not, uh, not, over, not over yet. Um, we have a lot of work to do with the uh, state government. Uh, we're concerned about other commodities that need to come out of the Kimberley. The state government is looking for a, a very large export port, and that port um, has been determined to be at James Price Point. Um, we're not surprised that Woodside has made this uh, statement. We've known for, or we've believed for some time, that the uh, economics didn't stack up. Certainly, the social impacts are enormous, and the environmental damage will be extreme. So even a development of a port there will still cause great damage. Um, and the campaign won't stop until we uh, know that that damage won't go ahead along the coastline. You mentioned social impacts there a moment ago. Now, the loss of this will hit the local economy and therefore, by extension, local communities, notably the Indigenous communities and economies. That's not a cause for celebration, surely? Uh, no, it's not. And there is some concern about that $1.5 billion uh, funding package that was to go to Indigenous people and that the benefits of that package were to be spread across the Kimberley. Um, a significant amount of that uh, package is over uh, 30 years. Uh, will go right across the Kimberley to a whole range of groups, not just to the Broome area. Um, Jobs will be lost, yes, but part of the package um, will provide health, housing, education, uh, training and skills opportunities. And these are all uh, things that a state and federal government uh, should provide to the community. We expect that um, these kinds of services should be delivered to uh, remote areas just as they're currently delivered to metropolitan areas. Uh, and there's always been an issue that why is it that um, Indigenous people must give up their land in order to obtain the services that uh, people in, in major towns uh, get as normal? And uh, there's, there's some inequality there. Um, there are concerns about the number of jobs that may be lost, but certainly by our estimates, many of the jobs that would have been created out of this uh, project and indeed will be uh, created out of the um, proposed uh, options, uh, there'll be people who'll come from elsewhere, either across Australia or from overseas. Um, the number of jobs locally who pe of people who currently live here, I don't think those figures have been properly assessed. The state government hasn't undertaken any uh, technical skills training for local people. They've had the opportunity to do that over the last four years, even longer since this project has been uh, proposed, and none of that's been uh, done to prepare local people for the work, and that is a major issue as well. Nick Weavers, in regard to the environmental concerns that your group and others uh, have raised, now, the state's Environmental Protection Authority approved this project, so would that not suggest that you and other groups pushing the environmental card have overplayed it? Oh, no, absolutely not. I mean, we've got grave concerns about the processes of the Environmental Protection Authority, um, the assessments that they've done, the approval that they've um, given, the way it was done was uh, wrong, it wasn't broad enough. Um, the big thing about the Kimberley is that it's under-researched. 
uh, and much of the research that Woodside and the state government in the past few years has been brief, it hasn't been longitudinal, um, and much of the work that campaign that the campaign and environmental groups in this area has been that's been done um, has provided information for this project, um, and we're really concerned that. Uh, uh, you know, the whale surveys, the bilby surveys, the turtle surveys, the damage to the monsoon vine thicket, the um, possible damage to our water table, um, the model damage to our air and clear skies has been brief and underdone. So uh, the EPA have made a decision uh, based on, on basically inadequate research.